beginning from verse 3. Then said thou, thou says the Lord God, the city shed a blood in the midst of it. But a time may come and make it idols against herself to define herself. Thou art become guilty in that blood that thou hast shed. And as the father said in time I, in the idols which thou hast made. Thou hast caused thy days to draw near and had come unto, even unto thy years. Therefore have I made thee a reproach unto the hidden and a mocking unto all countries. Those that be near and those that be far off from thee shall mock thee. We shall be famous and much verse. Gentlemen and ladies, look at verse 6. 26 to 30. If I read 26, help me to read 27. Are we there now? A priest have violated my law and have profaned my holy things. They have put no difference between the holy and the profane. Neither have I shown difference between the unclean and the clean. And I've hid their eyes from my Sabbath, and I am profane among them. 27. I have dubbed them with uncompared mortar. See vanity and divining lies unto them, saying, Thus says the Lord, when the Lord has not spoken. Finally, May we read verse 30 together, everybody. And I saw it. And stand in the gap before me for the land that I should not destroy it. But I found it not. Before you sit down, everyone present here today, lift up your hands before God. I say, God, you can depend on me. In this time, you can depend upon me. I refuse to subcon. I refuse to bow. I refuse to change my mind. I refuse to compromise my standard. Oh God, you can depend upon me in assemblies of God. You can depend upon me in Nigeria. You can depend upon me in my family. In thy warfare that is raging for thy truth and for thy right. When the conflict first is raging in the powers of the night, God need walk as brave and true. May the Lord depend on you. May the Lord depend on you. Loyalty is that is you. So spirit brave and true. May the Lord depend on you. Our God. We lift up your name. We tremble before you. We bow to your glory <laughs> today as we gather before you may you and you alone be praised in Jesus name you may be seated I am speaking Briefly on this war, can God still rely on you? That 
is a question you must answer by yourself. Because I know at the end of this message, the Lord is going to rekindle and the Lord is going to retransform and God is going to refurbish and repackage your life for a better tomorrow. How many of you believe that you are serving a living God? You believe you are serving a living God. How many of you believe that this God cannot fail and he cannot lie? How many of you believe that whatever God says, he will do it? If God says a wicked man will die, will he die? If God says a thief will die, will he die? If God says for one night shall be a jack, shall it come to pass? Listen to me, every child of God. Is there anywhere in the scripture you were told, or you may have read, that God says something and he failed to do it? Let me tell somebody whatever God says is going to do it. Perhaps he did not hear you and you are afraid to say it. Tell somebody whatever God says is going to do it. Tell that person your doubt, your fear cannot cancel the word of God. Tell that person you better sit up now. Tell that person you better stand when now. Tell that person do not be deceived even this time. For whatever God say, it shall come to pass. Every child of God present here today, that this, it is not everything that glitter that is gold. Is somebody hearing me today? We have many people, we have trillions and billions of people, not everyone that carry the Bible that is called a child of God. The heart of man is deceitful and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I am talking today. I may not know who I am talking to, but I know as I'm talking, there is a God that sees your heart. Tap somebody and tell him God knows your heart. He didn't hear you push him or her. I am going through. I am going through. I will pay the price. Whatever others do, I will make that way with the Lord anointed for you. I am going through. Jesus, I am going through. Every child of God present here today. Take this. Let no man deceive you. Tell somebody, let no man deceive you. You know why? We live in a compromising world. You know why? The Bible said, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall was cold. I pray today, may you never see Jesus and enter hell. You didn't hear me? May your eyes never see Jesus and you go to a hellfire. When I look at Bini City and I take a picture of the map of Nigeria, here in a church, here in a church, here in a church, here in a church, what is the name of this one? Olo Complus Holy Ghost Bible Ministry. What is the name of this one? I claim it by faith and by force ministry. What is the name of this one? We will die at the age of 50 years ministry. What is the name of this one? I can this I can drive away my wife and marry my co business ministry. What is the name of this one? I can use the head of my members to make rituals and bury their body here at the center of the church ministry. A day shall call. God shall judge his war. Yeah. 
Jesus ayere Obuyi ayere Huyi Let me ask somebody are you a Christian Ask that person are you a child of God Ask that person can God still depend on you Look at me every child of God. Do you know what informed this message? Do you know what informed this particular question in the message form? It is because you see a young girl who once decided and gave her life to Jesus and told Jesus, I have decided to follow you. We are living in a wicked world, but I will not join the world. But for the girl to come again and said, No, Jesus, don't fail me. I have decided not to follow Jesus again. I want to live the rest of my days in wickedness and iniquities. Can God depend on you? Thank God I am talking to students. I am talking to adults. Right inside your heart. God knows your heart. He sees your heart. You fly. He sees you. You go it, he sees you. You swallow human blood, you drink human blood, he sees you. You kill, you destroy, he sees you. You shoot human bone in the night, he sees you. Nothing, nothing can be hidden from God. Somebody came to me and saw a guy kill 28 persons. A young girl of 18 years old met me and said, God, I have been able to destroy 28 people. Sorry, 28 people. I said, God, I came, I killed 28 people. 28 persons, men and women, boys and girls, men and women. Among these people are people who carry Bible. Among these people that were killed are people who prophesy and speak in tongues. Do you know why they were permitted? It that break the edge. It that break the edge. Tell somebody if you break the edge, the serpent will bite you. He did not hear you push him and say, if you break the edge, the serpent will bite you. Tell that person if you don't want the serpent to bite you, don't break the edge. Do you know the meaning? My dear come. Do you know the meaning? I want to tell you the meaning. Stop. The meaning is, look at this, my pretty sister. Then a young man come and say, come. Take this one. Take, take. Take this one. You will surrender it later, child. <laughs> say, take this one. Now listen. All this morning, they are trapped. Yes, Akube. Yes. Just because it's after something. Yes. He want to destroy the glory and the destiny of the care. Yeah. Lift up your hand and say, Nobody shall destroy my glory. Yeah. I did not hear you. Nobody. Yeah. Come on, hold your Bible and say, Nobody. Yeah. Hold your Bible, raise it up and say, Nobody. Yeah. Nobody yeah. shall destroy my glory. Yeah. Nobody, nobody. Yeah. Nobody, nobody. Yeah. Nobody, nobody. Look at me. Hold your Bible in your hand. You are going to say this word. God, I will reach the end of this journey. I will reach the what? The end of this journey. I will not say my bed right because of Ilalobo. I will not go and join evil gang because of sweet and good, 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 good. I will not betray Jesus because of Ilalobo. I will reach the end of the journey. I will never, never run my journey halfway. Oh, until I reach my home. I will never, never run my journey halfway. Oh, until I reach my home. The Bible pencils down the story of a notorious and a terrible preacher of the gospel. An evangelist by the call. That is gifted with word of knowledge and power and faith. He was asked to go on a message on an errand. The instruction of God is as you go, don't look back. Don't
what? As you go, don't sit down. Do what? As you get there, they give you food to eat. Don't eat. It is a pity. Some Christians and pastors today eat cholera. Eat food that is demonic, possessed, and polluted. It is a pity today that we don't care who lay hands on our head anymore. Somebody call himself apostles. He come and lay hands on your head. Polluted hands on empty heads. Polluted hands on empty heads. They say, Jesus, they yo, come, you go there. Tomorrow they say, you know, they have He has gone on transfer. Jesus is not here. He's here now. You don't, you, you don't go there. After three days, they say, Jesus, the one here has failed. The one here has failed. The one here has no more power. The one Jesus here is the reigning one. Let me tell somebody, may God rely on you. Tell him you were created special. He didn't hear you push him by the shoulder and say you are created special. Tell him you never belong to a local. Tell him say, is on God not be your mama? Tell him say, Obanje is not your father. Tell him say, Ayilala is not your creator. But tell him the owner of your life, the decider of your life, and the decider of your destiny is Jesus Christ. Every child of God, look at me. The man of God obeyed and he went to, as God instructed. When he reached the place, after discharging his duties, the king of the land beckoned on him. Oga, I jealous your ministry. Oga, okay? we have never seen a pastor like you before. We must be very careful. When men begin to put you in the position of God, that is the beginning of your downfall. It is a pity that the new city, nationwide, Nigeria, has been paraded by preachers who claim the glory and honor that belongs to God. That a preacher will say, Oh, yeah, come and lick my leg. People will start to lick the leg. They will use their tongue to lick the leg. If possible, if that apostle get sore for leg, they will lick the sore journal. The man of God disobeyed. And when he disobeyed, he reached here. He said, Come and eat. He said, No, I won't eat. Of course, when he was discharging his duty, hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Hello. Lift up your Bible and say, God. You will, rely on me. you will rely on me. I will not disappoint this God. I will not bring reproach to this God. I have decided. Going forward is my ambition. I cannot go backward. I have decided. And from today, Jesus is my master. Jesus is my mentor. Jesus is my savior. Jesus is my deliverer. The man of God gave the message. The king saw him. Who is this man? As the king stretched forth his hand towards him, I want to open your eyes towards something you know and you don't know. Look at me, everybody. You see, you are putting on Adamic nature. But at salvation, what happened? Your spiritual man is renewed. At salvation, immediately you are born again, you become a new person. Do you know that what that implies? Once you are a new person, you cannot be manipulated. You cannot be oppressed. They cannot invoke your spirit in the spiritual realm and you appear and they use cutlass for your neck and for your hand. Oh, see, it can never happen. Is somebody hearing me? Someone came to me one day. So, guy, kill this one. I kill this one. I kill this one. I, I, then I asked the person, Why have you not killed me? He said, No. I don't want to die. Because there's something you carry. Tell somebody there's something you carry. He did not hear you. Tell him there's something you carry. Tell him 
you are not an ordinary person. <laughs> Tell him you are born to succeed. <laughs> Tell him you are saved to triumph. <laughs> Tell him you are anointed to flourish. <laughs> Tell him you carry something on your head. <laughs> but listen to me. When your ways are like this, your ways are like this. You are jeopardizing your future. Yeah. When your ways are like this, it's not straight. One old man one day was walking like this. He will walk like this. He will walk like this. Then his children call him and say, Daddy, you are moving zigzag. Walk straight. Daddy, don't walk like this again. Don't walk like there are many Christians walking like this. Could, maybe you are one of you walk like this. Today you walk like this. Tomorrow you walk like this. Next tomorrow you walk like this. When they are calling for a meeting, where are you lala people gather? You are there. When they are calling for a forum and a conference, we are which is all convention. You are there. Your leg is here. Your leg is here. Thou shall not serve two masters. It is a pity that we have millions of people in the church. Only few are born again. It is a pity. This one is baptized 1920, 1930, 1940, but was confirmed and confused 1970. Excuse me. See this, my beautiful mother. If she cannot trust me, do you think it will, she will give me whatever I ask? Answer me, please. Mama, your children, if you don't trust them, when they ask you, will you give them? Now tell somebody, may God trust you. He didn't hear you tell him again, may God trust you. Help me tell that person, don't be among the four one now inside church. Tell that person, beware. Be tell him, be careful. Tell him, watch out. watch out. They are coming, oh. Mamoras. Tell him, Mamoras, they are coming. Mamoras. Four one night Christians, they are coming. Mamoras. Four one night preachers, they are coming. Mamoras. Tell him, be care, beware. Be Look at this man. Before you sit down, this man of God, after discharging his duties, as he released the world. The king stretched forth his hand. May not catch this pastor. Catch him for me. As he stretched forth his hand to say, Catch him. May I say this? People may raise up their hands against you. It is only when you compromise your faith that they will catch you. When you put a locum and Bible, Missa together, hide them under your bed, under your pillow, you are looking for trouble. Because light and darkness is not the same. As he stretched forth his hand, catch him. The hand of the king became paralyzed. To confirm the word of God, touch no man. And do what? The, immediately the king's hand was paralyzed. He cried, Please help me, oh, help me. Then the man of God prayed, and the hand was restored. Every pastor, all pastors are not the same. That is why I thank God for this one. All the pastors in Nigeria, they are not the same. There are those who will come and shout, wab, 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 and nothing will happen. And there are those that will shout, wab, 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 wab. you push them, nothing will happen. But there are those that will say, Jesus is Lord. God raised him from the dead. You touch that person, you enter trouble. That is the category your pastor fall into. Yes, Put your hands to the glory of God. Yes, Amen. Yes, Please sit down. As this man was going, as he was going, sorry, as he was going, the Bible says some children that were there ran home to tell their daddy, daddy, you need to see what transpired today. A man of God came. Oh God, Nigeria need real Christian. 
genuine believers. Not be say church, they are church. No, no, no. Genuine what? Believers. As the man of God was going home, an old prophet in that land ran after him. Are you the man of God from Judah? I say, yes. Oh, I thank God for you. Oh, please. As I was in my house, the Lord told me I should bring you back. Come and eat. And the man of God told him, Thus says the Lord, I should not go back. I should not eat. I should not drink. He said, But as I was praying also, an angel appeared to me. Who is your mentor? Answer me, who is your mentor? Who is your creator? Who owns your life? I prophesy today you will not end your journey in lake of fire. I prophesy you will not end your journey in lake of fire. The man of God went back with this prophet. And when he got there, he said, sit down. Then he sat down. What has he done? Answer me. He has defied the divine order. Was he asked to sit down? They brought food and said, eat. As they brought the food, the man of God washed his hands. It's like the story of a lady, a woman. A pastor was posted to this church. When the pastor was when the pastor came there, one woman came and said, Daddy, DJ, DJ, Daddy, welcome, sir. After preaching, the man of God told them, Do you know my best food? They said, No. He said, If you if you want to know my best food, my best food is Pandania. The woman right there said, Hey! hey. Pastor! Pandemian and Melon Soup. Then a woman, a notorious criminal. Green snake under the green grass. A pretender and a forward nine. But every service he go on to speak in tongue. Had the criminal worse than Anini of old. Worse than that arm robber and any that was crucified or killed many many years ago. The woman went home and prepared Padaria. What will kill you, you will not eat it. And if you shout another M again, you will not swallow any poison. And if you shout this amen. You stand up to your feet and you turn around and shout this amen. Poison will not kill you. This lady went home and met Padre Yama for this pastor to kill the pastor. Made the arm and brought it to the pastor. Daddy, daddy, please manage it, please. You see, daddy, you see this food? I just because you say you like padeliam. That is why I prepare padeliam. Daddy, please. Oh my god. Help me tell somebody, stand well now. Help me tell somebody, don't play with your life anymore. He did not say yeah, you tell him, don't play with your salvation anymore. You be gay. A boy say, Come, make I take you learn. Ato, 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 do the thing. I say, Gay, may I take you learn. Because of biscuit, you want to destroy your future. Because of goody goody, you never follow tomorrow. It is a pity. Most of the children that go to university and secondary school, before you know, how many can you say are virgin among them? At 12 years old, they've been this virgin. And in the school, they will tell you, say, you say you don't be virgin, you be virgin. You know the shame? In this time, you be old school, old school. 
my god my mother did not teach me this thing my father did not teach me this thing what my mother hand over to me is that keep yourself pure what my father taught me is keep yourself pure why must i disgrace my tomorrow why 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 nigeria why 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 small small children have been raped in the name of satisfying my sexual urge All I know, Ayo, 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 All I know, whatever a man saw, he will repeat. I'm talking to some of you here. Say, I have a boyfriend. Congratulations. At the age of 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Because this morning don't come up, I don't get boyfriend. And we carry Bible and carry on to church. And sit down on holy cheers. Pollute holy cheers with our dirty yash. See, depend on you. What is your name? You say, My name is peace. Are you peaceful? What is your name? My name is happiness. Are you happy? What is your name? My name is gentle, but you are radical and rascal. What is your name? I am man for peace. I am man for unity, but you can disorganize something and cause confusion. Baptize to confuse. Jesus says, I will separate the sheep from the goat. Are you goat or you are sheep? How long will I spend in the church? They push me on daily basis. I get up today, I fall tomorrow. I get up today, I fall tomorrow. Today, 